How would you like to be tortured? Chances are you don't want to be tortured. But just in case you did, I put together a list of the 10 most brutal torture methods ever used in human history. These are ranked from least worst to worst worst, in my opinion. Let's get right into it. 10. The Breaking Wheel. Okay, so starting off strong. The Breaking Wheel might sound like a fun toy, but I can guarantee you it's nothing of the sort. Originating in ancient Greece with the sole purpose of being a torture device, the Breaking Wheel, also known as the Catherine Wheel, or simply put, the wheel, was a form of public execution. The torture method was pretty simple. It was literally just a big wooden wagon wheel. There was plenty of ways this rather simple device could be used, but the most common uses of the wheel was in the Middle Ages and consisted of having the victim tied up by their hands and feet to the wheel and then having all of their limbs broken on the wheel. Once they were beaten almost fully to death, they would then be hoisted up on a stake and left to die, which would usually happen shortly after. Other less common but kind of fun ways that the wheel were used was having the victim tied on the outside of the wheel and then rolling them down a hill, which is kind of hilarious in a morbid way, or less hilarious, having them swung over an open flame, giving them consistent burn exposure until the wheel caught on fire, burning the victim alive. Definitely not fun, but nowhere near as bad as what's to come. Nine, the Spanish tickler. Okay, so basically Freddy Krueger claws or Wolverine hands. Just imagine those Hulk hand toys like you had when you were a kid, but instead of being like a soft glove, it's actually a metal torture device. The device itself was a long, sharp set of claws held in the torturer's hand and was used on the victim in a slow and methodical manner. The victim would be tickled across their entire bodies, sometimes down to bone, and if they didn't bleed to death on the spot, the infection that would soon appear would definitely finish them off. There's not a ton more to say about these flesh ripping devices, besides the fact that they are debated on whether or not the Spanish tickler was actually used as a torture device. Although brutal, the Spanish tickler is still relatively tame compared to some of the other methods on this list, which is why it's only in the number 9 spot. 8. Bamboo Torture just from hearing the name alone, where did your mind go? Did you think of people being beaten by bamboo poles? Sharp pieces of bamboo being stuck under people's nails? Maybe being stabbed with bamboo rods? Nope. Bamboo torture consists of being tied up and having planted bamboo shoots grow from the ground through your body because of how fast bamboo grows. Initially, victims would be tied up and sat over top of a bamboo plant while it was still in the ground right before it would sprout, and the plant itself would grow up through the victim's anus, through the victim's body. Now, they had to change this method because initially, a lot of victims liked it. I'm kidding. I'm not sure if anyone actually enjoyed it, but I'm sure there's at least one person that as soon as the bamboo started to make their way up there, they were like, huh. In most common practice, the victim was secured over multiple bamboo plants still in the ground right before they were going to sprout, placed in such a way where they were going to puncture vital organs, such as the heart and the lungs. Bamboo grows extremely fast and can grow up to 36 inches within 24 hours, meaning that a lot of the victims of this torture were dead within a day. I think the worst part of this torture method would just be the fact that you can feel the bamboo slowly moving through your body, slowly killing you. And it's really just a fight between you and nature, a slow moving fight that you won't win. Seven, Blood Eagle. Okay, this one's brutal. You've been warned. The Blood Eagle was an ancient Viking torture method, and the Blood Eagle's goal was to rip the victim's ribs and lungs from their back to create almost a winged look. They would start by having the victim tied up and laid on their stomach on the ground. Once the victim was on the ground, a specific viking with a large, sharp knife or axe would begin cutting open their back with so much force that it would actually break their ribs. The ribs would then be pulled and stretched outward like wings. The worst part is when they rip the victim's lungs out and stretch them over top of the ribs to create the complete wing look. By the time the lungs were removed, the victim was dead and covered in blood, and typically the body would then be hoisted on a stake to be displayed. Vikings were savages. 6. Filleting Alive this method is a bit straightforward, but still worth going over. The filleting alive torture method was used all around the world, but for this brief example, we're going to be focusing on the practice within medieval Europe. For a victim to be first properly filleted, they must be softened up, which typically consisted of leaving the victim out in the sun to get sunburns all over their body to promote inflammation of the skin, or the victim would simply be boiled alive. The entire purpose of the softening up process was so that the torturer could make precise incisions into the victim's body, allowing them to keep the victim alive for as long as possible. The filleting process itself would start with a long cut down the victim's thigh. But even in more rare and twisted situations, the torturer would start by cutting the face off the victim, which is the most painful part 
due to the amount of nerves on the face that allow for facial expression. Once the long cuts were made across the body, the worst of it began. Once the cuts were made, the knives were put away and the torturers began to pull and tear the skin off the body by hand, ripping the skin from the nerves and the muscle that lie underneath. This process would continue until the victim was truly naked. The absolute worst part is that this wouldn't kill you. If your torturer was precise and skilled enough, you could live for days after this operation. So how did this torture method end up killing the victim? Great question. The three most common causes of death from most common to least common were blood loss, infection, and hypothermia due to not having any skin to thermoregulate the body. Not fun, kids. Keep your skin on. 5. Chinese Water Torture Chinese water torture is probably one of the most well-known torture methods on this entire list. It was featured in a Mythbusters episode and a few other places as well. Chinese water torture begins with having the victim lie on their back with their hands, feet, and head completely secured so that they cannot move. The victim is either in a dark room or completely blindfolded to cause sensory deprivation. Just above the victim's forehead is a bucket of icy water with a small hole in the bottom, just large enough to let water pass through, but just small enough so that the water falls at irregular intervals. This torture method may seem simple, but it is truly compounding and exponential in nature, meaning that it gets worse as time goes on. Most people, when they mention this torture method, only focus on the psychological damage which comes from it, which is severe and often cases causes loss of sanity or consciousness. But in this brief example, I want to focus on the physical aspect as well, too. It doesn't take long for the water to begin eroding the skin, slowly penetrating with each drop. A blister forms on the skin and slowly grows with each additional drip. The skin becomes raw and the water droplets become excruciating in nature. The physical pain matched with the severe mental damage makes this torture method one of the worst, in my opinion. But we still have four more to go. Four. Cock and ball torture. Okay, this isn't actually number four. I just wanted to lighten the mood because this video was getting dark. Okay, back to work. Four. White room torture. White room torture is the only strictly psychological torture method on this list. But don't let the lack of physical pain fool you. This method is brutal. White room torture has been used much more in modern times by governments as a way to break an individual, typically to extract information. With one bright white light always on, in white clothes, served only white food, left with nothing but their own thoughts. No color, no noise, no stimulation of any sort. Just nothingness and your own thoughts. This extreme sensory deprivation would cause severe mental damage in only a few days' time. Some of the early symptoms include depression, anxiety, hallucinations, and even loss of consciousness. It's hard to fully grasp the full extent of the mental torment that you would experience in such a situation, but the victims who have experienced it firsthand and those who have been in prisons with white rooms have all said that those who go in are never the same if they make it out. You might be thinking, if they make it out, of course they'll make it out. Well, if insanity didn't set in and completely take over their mind, a lot of victims would attempt to take their own life to simply end the torture. 3. Swedish Drink Swedish Drink, oh boy. This is probably one of the grossest torture methods on the list. This one's pretty simple, so I'll start with a bit of context. Swedish Drink was brought about during the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648 in Europe and was used by Swedish mercenaries, typically on German villagers, during raids as a torture method to get civilians to talk and give the locations of the village's valuables. So what was the drink? Simply put, it's a crude mixture of human or animal feces and urine put together in a bucket. A true poop smoothie, if you will. Victims of this torture method would be held down and force-fed this awful concoction. The traumatic experience alone of being fed this horrible drink was bad enough, but it did not end there. If the mercenaries were extra evil, they would wait until the victim's stomachs would become bloated from the mixture, and then they would begin applying pressure to the victim's stomach, either by poking it with a large stick or by putting wooden boards on their stomach and walking on them. This method might seem not as bad compared to some of the other ones on this list, but the sheer grossness of this definitely made it that much worse for me. 2. Keel Hauling Yarg! Keel Hauling be a pirate! Method of fun! Okay, so keel hauling, like my pirate friend explained, was a pirate method of torture that involved the keel of the ship, or the bottom. The victim would have their hands or feet tied to a rope, and then they would be thrown overboard, dragged across the bottom of the boat, either from one side to the other, or from the front to the back of the ship. 
You might be thinking, so just hold your breath and you'll be good, right? No. Keep in mind, the waves out in the ocean are brutal, and the forces underneath the ship are incredible and can bash the victim against the boat so hard that it can kill them. If the blunt trauma and the drowning didn't kill them, keep in mind that their body would be dragged across the keel, which is the part of the boat that's under the water. And this part of the boat would be covered with sharp and hard barnacles, which would be essentially shredding their entire body as they are dragged across the boat. This method kind of has everything. Water, blunt trauma, sharp objects. It's just brutal and a true torturer's dream. I personally hate water, which is why this is number two for me. One, scapism. In my opinion, this is the worst method of torture on the entire list. Scapism or being eaten alive. Historically, there are different ways that the scapism method could be used. One involving a barrel, one involving a boat. For this example, I will be focusing on the boat method. The boat method begins with two boats being nailed together to create a sort of floating coffin. The victim would be secured inside of the boats with their face exposed and their arms and legs hanging outside of the boat. So far, it doesn't sound so bad. It just sounds like we're breaking a few rules at Disney. Just wait. Next, the victim would be force-fed large amounts of milk and honey, as well as have their exposed limbs covered as well. The milk and honey would attract animals, and the excessive force-feeding would cause the victim to create large amounts of feces within their own boat coffin, attracting other varmin like rats. The victim would be fed regularly, but would be left to sit helpless and exposed to all the animals and bugs that it would attract, allowing them to eat the victim slowly. Fecal matter would begin to build up and the worms and rats would begin burrowing into your body and eating your extremities. This would truly be a horrible torture method, and for me personally, the worst part is how long this can go on for. Your body can survive in this state while being fed for days, and the longest recorded event of this had the victim living for 17 days, slowly living in their own poop and being eaten alive by bugs, creating infections, and I think dying in probably one of the most gruesome and painful ways imaginable. Like I said in the beginning, this is a personal list. So if you guys disagree, please comment down below which one you believe to be the worst torture method. And if you have some extra time, rank these 10 in your personal order in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys think about these torture methods. I'll try to make my next video a bit of a palate cleanse because this video got gross. Trust me, bro. Oh yeah, and this is my first video, so subscribe for more. See ya.